Hello friends. So in this lecture, first of all, we will see this NX12 and here we have the default interface and in this top of this ribbon, we have this new open, open recent and customer default. Some options are there. So first of all, we will see this new. In new, if you want to start anything new like if you want to create a model solid model we can start from here if you want to create any sheet metal we can create the sheet metal from here for assembly so here we can start any new template with the help of the template you can create any model okay in that template we can create new model and here are the units you want to change the unit you can change this metric or imperial whatever you want here first define the name what you want to keep your part name number you can specify and the folder where you want to save this file and the same here we have so many options available here okay this manufacturing which is annex cad that will come here and model what we will do and here in layout this drawing it is drafting and so many options are there like this simulation if you want to do any kind of analysis we use this okay so uh, in this our course curriculum we have this model so I'm starting with this model so uh, this is the default interface of annex CAD and here we have so many options see which I have already uh, this all option I have already customized you can customize this I will tell you so here we have the ribbon and you can minimize your ribbon if you want more space to draw so we can minimize or maximize from here and here we have this alt plus enter to full screen full screen will come okay if you will click over it it will show you and turn off this and here by default you will get the datum coordinate system which is here see this my datum coordinate system if you want to suppress you can suppress with this help of this this is my part navigator whatever you will do that will come under this part navigator so that in future you want to make any changes in that uh, feature you can make the changes here we have this animation navigator because animation navigator animation design is active here that's why this is assembly assembly is here so all the assembly options are available here and some are curves how to create the curves for this 3d curve we can create with this curve and surfacing all the surfacing options are here, here but i have added some surfacing option here which are i use frequently so i have added here and analysis for missing the uh, model and view want to change some color and some section hide and show any part and shading or rendering added background you can do all these things okay so here we have this part navigator okay and here with this this is the history whatever your part you are using last time all will come here okay this all are here okay and older so all so this is the history and this is my part navigator click here the part navigator is here <coughs> see and here first we have this zoom if you want to drag it will drag so first i'm opening a part uh, and I will apply this all things on the part so just click it so uh, this is the part and here in navigator you can see this part navigator I have created a pattern so this is the pattern and if you suppress this see the last result is this after the pattern this result will come so we can edit we can change any sketch any feature with the help of this navigator okay here uh, you can see this is the zoom option if you want to make any zoom window of some specific portion of the part or with the help of this scroll middle button we can increase decrease our model okay here we have this pan with the help of this pan you can move your sheet or we have one more option shift plus middle click to pan your geometry shift key and then middle click to press the geometry 
and control plus middle click to zoom in zoom out or middle click only middle click to rotate your model I just rotate here is all the, uh, available rotate F7 is a shortcut and next we have this perspective if you want to see your model in perspective view this perspective and this is the fit if your model is very small and you want to fit it right click press along and drag it over the fit and same we have here control plus F to fit your model in the screen and here are the views trimetric and top view and one isometric so there are so many options you can use them here we have some shading option shading only shading edges will not show you wireframe again wireframe and here studio it takes time to generate the studio view this is the studio view okay here we can add more lights color and background that's all we can add or and right click and here we have the same view shading with edges and here we have hide and show hide and show control plus w the shortcut and this pop-up window will come what you want to hide suppose i want to hide all the sketches all the sketches will hide show all the sketches all the sketches will show hide all datum plane datum plane see the datum plane is now visible and now hide it and hide datum plane and solid body if you want to hide a solid body and show solid body so this is hide and show we use this and here we have this all option available here which are also available in menu and insert we have the same options here you can use from this toolbar ribbon toolbar or we can use this from the menu insert and we have the same options here design feature okay so we can use anywhere and if you want to customize your ribbon so right click on this ribbon and here we have customize okay and any command if you want to search any command just go and type okay tube tube is here it is already added if you want to add it drag and drop anywhere where you want to drop it okay click it will come it is already added if you want to remove any command just drag pick and see like this pick and drop it will remove and close so if you want to add or remove any command here you can add or remove and one more thing which is most uh, more useful find a command if you know the option but you cannot find it anywhere it, it will work in any type of version means if you are using nx10 nx11 uh, or nx1926 any version is there this command finder will be there just type the command and enter then you can see the command is here okay it will show you or click over it the command will activate just close and close so this is my sketch and here in a sketch we can start creating sketch okay so we will see this in our first lecture how to create an sketch so this is the basic information about the annex